All right, hello and welcome everyone to my video today about this Ranger. Thank you for looking and watching and joining. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Ring the bell and subscribe if you like what I do. I love to present and talk about cars to you, tell you their story, their history, what makes them special, interesting things about the model. And I like to interject with some personal opinions and history, if I have some, about a particular vehicle, which I do with this one, and I'm gonna tell you about here shortly. So this is a very nice, very clean truck. Of course, it's really good looking and crisp and white. We've got a beautiful sunny day here in Columbus, Ohio. It's, it's just crisp and clean and white. This edge package, this edge appearance package, as they called it, that is what it is. It's not really anything mechanically different about it, but it sure looks good. The wheel well arches around the wheels, the painted to match front bumper, the special alloy wheels, the different grill, the raised hood, raked hood. Um, it's just different and makes it a little, little different, pop a little bit more than the norm. So great trucks these are, um, great reliability, great, great reputation. This is a three liter V6. It has just turned 160,000 miles. So 2002, 160,000 miles. Um, it is just simple, easy, the right size, uh, easy to drive and has a reputation of longevity and lasting and just continuing to go and go like the Energizer Bunny. So low cost of ownership, low cost of maintenance, great reputation. Look at that truck. Nice size, easy to drive, easy to park, easy to see out of. That's one of the first things I want to talk about, okay, real quick. Why are trucks like this, this size so popular? Because it's reasonable size. This, a Chevy S10, a Toyota Tacoma, all these trucks of yesteryear, so to speak, that are a little bit older, but they're a manageable size. If you look around today, and I'm going to swing over here to you, I spied with my little eye before I started this video. Look at the size of that F-150. And then we've got another F-150 there in the background. These things are so big, they have to park away from other people. Here comes the Toyota, Tac Toyota uh, Tundra that I wanted to point out. Huge truck, wonderful truck, but huge. And then there's a Silverado over there in the distance. Um, all of these newer trucks, I mean, those are full-size trucks. So those are the equivalent of what an F-150 would have been back in this time period. But the point is, you, the Ranger nowadays is the size of what an F-150 was in this time period. So everything's gotten bigger and it is what it is, but it's gotten bigger. This is just such a nice size and so manageable. The extended cab on this is awesome. The back doors open suicide style. I'm going to show you that. Um, everything works on this truck. Everything works. It runs and drives excellent. All the features and buttons and functions, air conditioning, all of it works. It's got a clean history, a clean title, and it's a one owner, a one owner truck. This truck spent the first five years of its life, five years in Florida, and then that same owner uh, used it back and forth between Florida and Ohio. So it has been in Ohio, the balance of its life some, but it's also spent a, a, a fair amount of time in Florida as well on this, on the, after the first five years. So a one owner, super clean, I mean, it has a few little flaws I'm going to point out to you here, but great mileage, great reputation, super clean, manageable size. I think it's awesome. So um, let me take a walk around here and then we'll dive in. The other thing that I want to talk about on this video, and I'm going to say it here in the beginning, is when I said I like to add my own personal inflection into my videos or personal interjection of a story, I want to tell it to you right now before I tell you more about this truck. Um, my own mother has, and I got it for her, this same truck, but it's a little bit older. It's a 1997 Ranger extended cab. So it's not quite as new looking at the, as this because the mid nineties were a little, a lot more dated in the front. And then the extended cab in the back didn't open. So I actually tried to ask her if she'd like to buy this truck. And to which she said, no, I love my truck, I'm fine. But what I wanna tell you is, I got that truck for her um, in 2010. So it was 13 years old at the time, 
yeah, 13 years old at the time. It had 140 some thousand miles. She's had it for 14 years because it's currently 2024. She drives it more than she drives her regular car. And I don't mean to sound bougie by saying this, but her regular car is a Mercedes ML SUV and she'd rather drive the, her Ranger than the Mercedes. She drives it daily and she doesn't go very far to work. So she hasn't put a lot of miles in those 14 years, but it just turned, it, this, is, this is why I wanted to bring this up in this video. It just turned 200,000 miles literally yesterday. She sent me a photo, said, look, this was the truck this morning and it's a picture of the odometer showing 200, you know, 000, 200,000 miles. So my own mother, same truck. I mean, it really is the same truck because it has the same engine. It's a three liter V6, same motor, two wheel drive, same as this, uh, 200,000 miles, 14 years of ownership. And I couldn't pry it out of her hands. I couldn't even pry it out of her hands literally because I tried to offer her to purchase this one and sell hers. And she said, I like what I have. So there you go. Shows how dedicated and whatnot she is. So let's get deeper into this one. Um, I told you one owner, Florida and Ohio, lots of Florida, and then back and forth to Ohio. Clean Carfax, clean title. This has two sets of keys as well. I wanna tell you about the new service work, okay? You can see the beautiful Firestone Destination AT. These are all terrain tires, but they are quiet. Um, they have a ton of tread and a ton of life. Nine thirty seconds tread. Look at the good looking alloy wheels here. These wheels have a little bit of um, peeling on the finish, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna point out every little flaw about this truck because there's just a lot of little stuff, but there's nothing really major. The tires are excellent, 930 seconds. The new parts that were just installed, new front brakes and rotors. You can probably see the shiny rotor through there. New front brakes and rotors, new front stabilizer links, new outer tie rod ends, and then of course an alignment. You need to do an alignment when you do suspension stuff like that. An oil change, the oil's fresh and new. Uh, rear brakes have 80% remaining. Those tires have 930 seconds tread all the way around. Uh, the battery pass testing, I believe it's from 2022. I'll show you that when we look under the hood. Um, and then uh, the doors, I wanna go in and talk about that, but let's, let's finish the outside here. So not a whole lot of maintenance-y stuff that needed done, but it's all done, it's all current, it's ready to go, it's ready to drive, it's ready to roll, okay? New brakes and rotors in the front, fresh oil, new stabilizer links, new tie rod ends, alignment, uh, AC's freezing cold. I wanted to point out too, this dark uh, bug guard is in great shape, matches the vent visor uh, window shades here. A lot of people see these and think uh, that the car is a smoker when they see these. That's not true. This was not uh, smoked in. It smells nice inside, but it has those nice vent shades on the windows, which match these. The headlights are pretty darn nice and clear and clean for its age. Um, the front bumper's in really nice shape. The fog lights work. Uh, they work just fine. There's a button inside. There are some stone chips here on the bumper, you know. Some of them have been touched up. Uh, little stuff here along the bumper, just to point that out. Hood's in great shape. This bug guard has done a real nice job. There's, there's no major stone chips. Look at the, the elevated or raised hood, part of the edge package, the fender flares. It all just works together, right? Um, i finish around the outside. The roof's nice. No issues up there. Windshield's nice. Um, it's a really small couple dents in this door right here and here. I don't even know if you can see it with how bright it is and white. Uh, the bed side's in nice shape. The edge decal. This is a factory decal right there. There's this wheel. Um, at the end, if you're itching to see underneath, at the end, after I finish everything, I'll do underneath and show you underneath, okay? This tonneau cover is uh, aftermarket, but it's very nice. It's in very good shape. It's not shrunk. It's nice and soft. Um, does a real nice job covering the bed. Certainly looks nice. Um, and then if you know this vehicle, you know that the original bed rails were here, and they were these chunky bed rails, okay? So they are still here. They are just in the bed. So if you want to reinstall these, there they are. 
this is what they look like, but they aren't really functional. They were more decorative, okay? So they're both here, there's nothing wrong with them. They could certainly be put back on, but you can't use a tonneau cover like that with these. So up to you, but just letting you know they're here. Um, got a plastic bed liner in here, the original Ford one. It's nice, it's clean, there's no damage. This is just a little mat to keep these from sliding around as much as possible, but the bed and liner itself are very nice. Um, the piece on the tailgate's nice. A little bit of, I don't know, previous owner, a um, little bit of rust maybe that was in here in the tailgate, sprayed some white paint in here to kind of slow it down and kill it. Um, so there's that, is what it is. Um, not really visible on the outside, just I think trying to keep it, keep it slowed down there. Um, I also do believe that this back bumper has been repainted with like a rhino coating type of paint previously. I don't know when, I don't know why, just letting you know. I mean, I think it looks fine. It's black, but it's definitely been uh, uh, painted there. Got a nice hitch. Um, I read in one of the Ford truck forums that this three liter in this year, 2002, was revised for better torque, for better fuel economy and better towing capacity. I, I read it. It was on a Ford truck. Uh, it was actually on Ford truck website. So I assume it's very factual and true. Um, but uh, yeah, so nice, nice tow package there. Um, this side is really clean as well. Um, there's a little chip here at the edge of the extended cab door that's been touched up. Um, again, if you cut, if you saw this, these are uh, factory stone guard protectors. They're just discolored and whatnot over time. These were factory placed to prevent from the front tires chipping the edge of the bed here, but these are just discolored because of age, but it does have uh, uh, yeah, mud flaps on the front and rear wheels. So that certainly helps to keep, uh, keep stones down as well. So, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside now, yeah? so bright and sunny so nice um all right let's take a look at the inside and, and and while we go also fuel mileage this is rated to get speaking of fuel mileage i just mentioned how they said they revised this engine in this year for better fuel efficiency the epa rating is 17 in the city 21 on the highway from what i read uh of people on the different gas websites they were reporting an average of right around 19 or 20 so sounds about right um now, if you know these trucks, you may know that these extended cab doors can have a tendency to uh, be stick or sticky or stuck or frozen shut, okay? These were pretty, these were pretty sticky, okay? So I had this also taken care of. It was expensive, but it's fixed. It should outlast the truck now. Um, there are all new cables and latches on these extended cab doors now, okay? So they open and close really easily, really smooth and nice. Um, they just work flawlessly, okay? New cables, new latches. It wasn't cheap, but it's fixed, and it's working great, and it's nice. And, you know, you obviously want to be able to access the extended cab again, my mom's 1997 is an extended cab, but the, but the back part of the cab doesn't open. So when you want to put something in the back or somebody wants to get in the jump seats, you only have two doors. This is truly, you know, four doors, right? So, all right. Um, the back, these little jump seats, great shape. Um, there's seat belts, of course, right there, little lap belts, and then they buckle in right here. Uh, when you're not using these, they fold up like that. Um, should also point out at this time, the edge package had this rubber floor. Um, the, only the edge package, I do believe in this time period, had this rubber floor. It's got these carpet mats right now, but a lot of people like that because kind of like, uh, you know, Jeep Wrangler without carpet or Honda Element that had no carpet, you know, easy to clean, easy to wipe out, hose out, whatever. Um, just nice and easy to easy to clean but that's a factory rubber floor um driver's side seat is in really nice shape it's nice and firm and comfortable 
on that subject. I will be making a separate video of me driving the Ranger on city streets, freeway streets, showing you how it drives, demonstrating how it drives, telling you what I like, what I don't like. Um, there's nothing I really don't like and it drives fantastic, but take a look at my channel. You can watch that video as well. Um, the seat is very comfortable. The bolster is nice and firm. Nothing's broken down. There are a couple flaws here on the seat. They appear like cigarette burns, but I know for a fact that the previous uh, owner was not a smoker. So I think these are just small tears, maybe from tools or something that caught the fabric. And then, and it's just kind of opened up a little bit over time. So I don't think it's a big deal. There's a, this one here, this little guy here, and a couple right there, probably from something in the pocket. Um, you know, I think as long as uh, you're careful, I don't think these are gonna get any worse. And this fabric is this real nice thick tweed type of fabric. I think it's fine. Um, armrest is nice and clean, great shape, works, not broken like some of them. There's a coin holder in there and then there's an additional cup holder here. And then you can flip this up and there's a seat belt that's tucked away back here, but this is actually a five passenger truck. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it might be a little bit of a tight fit, but there are five seat belts, so it's a five passenger truck. Um, again, smells nice, clean, air conditioning, freezing cold, works. Let me show you the headliner while we're standing right here. The headliner is nice, it's clean, it's tight. There's no issues there, visors are nice, okay. Um, pretty simple in here, a couple cup holders, that's a factory console piece. You can turn off the passenger airbag if you have a child in there. Um, ashtray here, <laughs> which you don't get in newer cars. Simple, easy to use climate control. Again, air conditioning works great. There's a power outlet or a cigarette lighter actually, but you could use it as a power outlet. Another power outlet there. This is the button for the fog lights, which as long as you keep it depressed, when you turn on the headlights, the green light will come on to tell you the fog lights are on. And again, they do work. Uh, factory radio with CD changer. Only program will be recorded. Um, there's a. Uh, it works good. Uh, dashboard, nice condition. Oh, there's a big giant truck. Look at that big three quarter ton Chevy. Um, dashboard's in nice shape. Um, cruise control works. Um, these uh, cruise control buttons were also uh, worn, which is very common and uh, also had these replaced. So these button sets on both sides are new. They work great. I'll demonstrate that on the driving video, um, but uh, that's a common thing for these buttons to wear out over time, but these are also new. So one more thing you don't have to worry about. The actual steering wheel is nice, it's smooth, it's clean. There's no, um, nothing, nothing bad about it. It's in very nice shape. There's the exact mileage right now, 160125. You can see all the gauges are working correctly. Um, it does in fact have a full tank of fuel. I always do that and I have people ask, does that gas gauge work? Yeah, it does work. Um, I like the uh, Ranger on the sill plate here. Oh, and, and also uh, there's the rubber floor on the driver's side. You can see how nice it is. Um, nothing, you know, so, and I say that because even though, oh, it's rubber floor, of course it's gonna be nice. Well, if someone was wearing a giant work boot for you know a bazillion miles there might be a hole worn in from their heel but it's uh it's nice so i've got these inexpensive carpet mats on top of the rubber floor but um door panel real nice power windows power locks power mirrors auto down on the driver's side um uh, window you know that's this is really nice my mom's 97 is an xlt trim and it has power windows, locks, mirrors, and crews, but not all Rangers are created equal and not all Rangers have all that power stuff. You can have an XLT trim that has crank windows, no crews, and manual locks. So uh, I'm pretty confident that this Edge package had all this stuff standard, but nonetheless, not all two uh, Rangers are exactly equal. Um, all right, so nice. Uh, bottom of this door, same thing, a little bit of sprayed in white paint here on some bubbling on the bottom of this door okay uh, the door jam itself is pretty clean and nice uh, this this is the front seat belt of course this is where the rear buckles in a little bit of a little bit of light rust here um, there's the latch that was replaced 
you could, this could, this probably gonna be a long time before that affects anything, but overall pretty nice. Um, all right. So there's that side. Actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's look at the other side, and then we already saw in the bed, and then we'll look under the hood, and then we'll look under the truck. So, uh, same thing over here. Cables, latches, replaced to make this operate correctly and smoothly. It's all fixed. It was done professionally at a body shop, a very well-known body shop. Um, it's all good. There's actually, you can see that new latch right in there. So, yep, 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 yep. There's the back again. Passenger side seat is perfect, perfect. Uh, not a mark, not a flaw. Nice and firm over here as well. Um, very, very nice. Passenger floor, of course, it's gonna be nice if the driver's side was that nice, right? My mom drives her 19, there's the headliner on this side. My mom drives that 1997 Ranger when she could drive the Mercedes. She drives it everywhere. She drives it to work. She drives it to her after school. Uh, uh, she's a teacher. She drives it to her after school activities and things she does for the school and other, other charitable stuff that she does with her time. And she, 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 she drives it more than she drives the, the other car. It's just... She loves it. Uh, this door panel is real nice. Let me show you the bottoms of these doors over here. I think you know, this one's about the same as the driver's side. Door jam, clean. And same thing, a little bit of rust here at the bottom of this one. Okay, it's also a new latch here at the bottom of that door. That's why it works so nicely. All right, uh, let's take a look under the hood now. <laughs> There's another big truck, Silverado. I mean, I, I know I'm, it's not exactly an apple and an orange, but you know, look at that, look at the size of that truck. And that's, that's not even a long bed. <clears throat> I have a longtime friend who just bought a uh, S10 uh, right around the time period of this truck. And he loves it. He's been driving it nonstop. Says he can't get over how great of a truck it is and how, how easy it is to drive because of the size. Literally, he just bought it a couple of months ago and he's driven it, driven it out of town and he loves it. So here we are under the hood. There's that battery I mentioned uh, right there. If you can see that 1022, October of 22. So we're only a couple of years on that, uh, that battery there. You can hear the AC cycling on and off, and you can see the, uh, the lines sweating here. They're nice and cold from AC working great. Nice and clean here, nice and clean here. And the bottom of the hood is very clean with a little bit of rust. Let me show you up close. That hood pad's in really nice shape. The bug guard uh, screws are still real nice overall. A uh, little bit of rust here around the latch, but not to be uh, unexpected for this year. Uh, pretty nice in here, a little bit there. Just gonna uh, hover uh, right here for a moment so you can listen while it's running at idle. All right, there's the AC. Uh, rev it up a little bit here. Alright, 
How's that? How's that for a nice little truck? What a truck for the money. So much truck for the money, right? You wanna see the fog lights on? All right, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sometimes I have to be creative and think about what uh, someone may say if they were actually interacting with me. There you go. It's a little bright out here, but you can see that they work. There they are. All right, I'm gonna close the hood now. And, uh, that um okay let's uh take a look underneath as best i can here for you so you can see um frame and under underside as well as we can I mean, I assume if you're looking at this and this is of interest to you, you will certainly know that this is just superficial surface scaly rust. It's not of any issue or problem. It's just really from age more than anything. It doesn't matter where it lived, but I will say that it's overall cleaner than uh, if it had lived here its whole life in Ohio, probably wouldn't be as nice if it had. <clears throat> Ranger. Um, that's my opinion anyway, because I've seen enough trucks and whatnot. I, I, I truly think this is clean, a much cleaner than if it had lived its entire life in Ohio. So for what that's worth. to the front hopefully I don't get run over all these crazy soccer people leaving the soccer field they can never wait there's the new stabilizer links I see that nice and shiny on both sides all right everybody I think that's uh, about as much detail as I can possibly show you all the way around here. <laughs> Turn those headlights off so I don't forget. So, a lot of truck. A lot of truck for the money. Reasonable, comfortable size. Endorsed <laughs> by my mother. <laughs> um, it's good looking, you know. Doesn't look its age for sure. Uh, it's a, a nice uh, appearance package, this edge package. So, thank you for uh, watching, looking, and joining. And feel free to leave some comments. Use the comments there uh, to give me any kind of feedback you'd like or to uh, talk amongst each other or ask me any questions. I like when people use my comments section as like a discussion board of my videos. So feel free to do that and 
we can all talk about rangers, right? So, thanks so much once again for looking and joining, and uh, hope to see you next time. Check out the driving video I will make of this truck as well. It'll be on my channel uh, right next to this video, okay? Thanks so much, everybody. Peace until next time. Bye-bye.